Hey everybody, welcome back to Hunk and Junk, and today I'm going to go ahead and finish up this truck for you guys. I know I promised I'd do it last week, but things kind of came up and I wasn't able to produce a video, so here we go. I'm going to do it this week for you, so stick around, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll be right back with you. So what I got here is, I'm going to make it into a wedge bed. I had these sides I made for another build a long time ago, and I didn't really like how they looked with the truck. They didn't really proportion right, so I just put them off to the side. And Now that this build's come up, they're going to be just right with it. So as you can see, it's basically just flat piece of sheet metal that I've just cut up and cut this shape out of. It's very simple cuts, very simple. So, I think what I'm going to do here is, so that's 12 and 3 quarters, and if I just fold that right around, it comes up to almost 13 and a half, so I might as well say 14 inches. This should be right around 14 since I've already pre-measured all this. Yeah, close enough. So, need six and three quarters. Okay. We got our piece good and cut out here. Should be pretty square. Real good and square on that side. Yeah. So now what I need to do is put a half inch lip on each side of this. I want that to be my top. So I'm going to use this side. So, let's mark a half inch. So we got our scribe marks. Now we need to cut out our corners. Now I'm gonna hammer my edges and we'll go over to the shear and get all this bent up. Alright, so we got our piece bent up, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I had to go back and remeasure and redo it. I made the other piece a half inch too short or too narrow. So, what I'm gonna do is lay it upside down. Like this. Put them up there. Hmm, I got a little gap up there, I don't like that. Then now what I need to do is cut it off back here in the back. Cut me a little place back here and bend this over and then cut off the excess. Poor measuring skills is what that is. But poor measuring skills. I'm sure there's way better ways of doing this, but then there's my way, and I enjoy doing it this way. 
makes it way more interesting. I think I need to cut a little bit more out right there. to trim that up fix that that side looks all right all right so as you can see i kind of made a mistake right here and i'm actually i'm kind of glad that i did because it'll show you how easy it is to re to, to come back and fix this little kind of stuff man metal is so easy to work with and you'll see so basically what i've done here is i've not made my notch here big enough so I need to come in here and kind of make it a little bit bigger. And all that will be hidden. So I'll come in here like so. Something like this. Take my pliers. Now you can see, I just need to trim right there. I'm trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing. Now what I need to do is kind of bend this piece back a little bit so it lines up with this piece. this time one right there in the end you got one side let's do the other side So we got our bed all welded together and everything. Top part of it. And as I, I just went ahead and trimmed off the back and trimmed it up back here. Now, fellas, this is a rat rod, so I'm not going to fix all this like I do on most of my stuff. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Probably set it out in the rain and let it rust up. But one thing that I need to do is I need to figure out how to mount it. But with this having the angle to it, 
need to make sure I get that the same height all the way up. So what I want to do is I want to make it level with the bottom of the truck. Since the bottom of the truck is level with the bottom of the frame, I've got these pieces here that kind of stick up. So I'm going to set this down on my bench like this. Get me a little piece of something like that. And since I'm going to be using these for my hold downs and my rivets, right there is where I need to bottom my frame. So, then you measure that. But I'm measuring to the bottom, not the top, to the bottom. Whenever I put it up there, I've already measured it, it comes out to right at 7 8. So, now what I need to do take my bench. I know I need to be 7 8 is how high that's going to be. This is definitely the wrong pin to use. But I'm going to use it anyway. So measure the width of our frame. <coughs> it is three and a half. So three and a half wide. All right? And I'm gonna do that down here too. Because I'm gonna do my math in different places for the front and for the back. So the front We were at two and a half. So you got to multiply that by two. So two and a half, that's five. Then you're going to need a half inch lip on each side. So you need to add another inch. So that's one more inch. So it's eight and a half, nine inches is how wide it's got to be at the front. Now let's check the back. How wide is it going to need to be back here? Yeah. That's right, we settled on about an inch. So you got my width, three and a half. Then you got a one inch on each side, so times that by two. So you got two inches. Then you got your half inch lip on each side, so that's another inch. So it's three and a half, five and a half, six and a half. So I need a piece of metal cut nine inches at one end, six and a half inches at the other end. Let me get that cut and then I'll show you how to mark all it. All right, so up. I got my piece here, seven, seven and a half inches this way long, nine inches wide, because the top, the front, has to be nine inches. So now I'm going to show you how to get it down to the six and a half on the other side. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure with your center point. Nine inches, that's going to put you at four and a half. Okay, so put your mark at your four and a half. Then you're going to come off of your center mark. Since your bottom number, the back part of your frame has to be six and a half, you're going to come split this in two, which is going to be three and a quarter. And you'll come off your center mark here. You'll come back out to three and a quarter on each side of your center mark. See? Now you'll come right off your corner up here because you know it's the right width and you'll just draw your line to cut. Now this is all trimmed. So let me go cut this off and then we'll continue on. All right, so we got our piece all cut down. So now I'm gonna show you how to get the rest of the drawing on this thing right. So bear with me, I'm a hillbilly. So basically what I've done here is I've got my center mark still from down here and I got my center mark up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off my center mark since my frame 
is three and a half inches wide. That's how wide I'm going to make this, right? All the way down. So I need to split that into one and three quarters. So I'm going to come off my center mark here and go to one and three quarters <clears throat> on each side. Now, what you want to do is you want to flip it over and you want to put your mark at the half inch. Draw your line. Now you've done all your fancy stuff when you cut this off. Now you only got two bends to make. You bend it here. This will sit on here like that. Then you make your bend here. That's your lip to weld to the bottom of the bed. And you've already got it. Got your angle. Let's go bend this up. our piece. Let's see how she looks, fellas. Well, that's pretty daggone close. I guess dead on the money. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There go. So now I need to tack this in. So give me just a few minutes. I'll go run and tack this in and be right back. All right, so we got our bottom piece welded in here. See how she fits. Oh yeah, like a glove. So now I need to mount it, figure out where my back wheels are gonna be. We'll be done. So I'm going to set it up here on the edge of my bench like this. And I'm going to get it good and centered up. Now what I need to do is make sure I got enough frame for an axle. That frame's awful short. Let's stick that up in there and get it centered. I'm going to pull it down just a hair. Alright guys, well here it is, ready to haul a load. It's all tacked down. 
Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you like what you see, make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know. It's really nice to see that people appreciate what I'm doing over here. And if you want to get involved and you got questions, feel free to ask any you may have. Thank you for being here. Y'all have a great day.